Hi, I am Laurent Mathieu, Technical Support Engineer at XBlue. Thank you for joining me for this hands-on session. The subject today is our newborn gyro compass, the Seistance. I'll present you this equipment through four sections. We will start with the gyro compass product line. Then I will explain to you how to find the true north. We will then transfer this orientation to your uh, sensor. And we will finish the presentation with a complete installation of the system. The aim of our com gyro compasses is to provide an orientation relative to the true north direction. We call it heading at sea or azimuth in some land applications. For us today, it would be orientation. To perform this measurement, we propose the octants. It's our most accurate gyro compass. It is 0 0.1 degree seclat heading accuracy. Then we have a smaller and more compact equipment, which is a quadrants. Its heading accuracy is 0 0.15 degrees seclat. On the same design than the quadrants, we have the seistance. It gives a uh, heading accuracy of 0 0.23 degrees seclat. One specific point of the seistance is that it is free of export. So you can send it anywhere around the world and you don't have to ask for any export license. You noticed that I associated seclat to the accuracy of the systems. So what is seclat? Seclat means second latitude. It is one divided by the cosine of the latitude. The north direction given by the gyro compass is the projection of the earth rotation axis to the local horizon plan. In fact, all gyro compass from XBlue or any other manufacturer are sensitive to the operational latitude. For example, if you work at the equator plan, the seclat is 1. It means that the heading accuracy will be 0 0.23 degrees as the specification. But when you move towards the poles, north pole or south, this value will increase. So when you are in France, for example, at 50 degrees north, we will have an heading accuracy for the same equipment of 0 0.36 degrees. North again, at 60 degrees north, you will have a 0 0.46 degrees accuracy. To finalize the presentation of the assistance, I would like to highlight that, as you can see, it is very compact. It is very light, it's 2.7 kilograms only. There is no moving part inside, so no friction, no maintenance, and you can transport it anywhere easily. You will see also that it is very quick to install and it is very easy to use. About the power consumption, it will take about 11 watts for a 12 volt battery. And I want also to point again the fact that it is free of export, which is very convenient. On this second part, I would like to show you the way of finding the true north using the Seistance. On the front panel of the Seistance, we have four connectors. One of them is used for the power supply. The second one here is for the Ethernet connection. It will be for the cable to link to the computer. We have also a serial connector that will be used for GNSS or heading repeater. We have a fourth connector, which is the pulse connector, but it will be used for advanced operations. On the bottom panel, we have two holes. 
they will be used for the precision pins. This line is the mechanical reference of the gyro compass. About these connectors, you can see the colors, different colors according to the purpose of this connector. They are Fisher connectors and they are humidity and dust proof. To be able to configure the systems, we use a pre-configured tablet. This is also a GNSS integrated tablet. From there, you will be able to configure the systems to uh, display the heading information and uh, also to have a quality control of the data. Today, we will only use two bottom connectors. It is what you will do when you will be on the field. It will be enough to do the job. About the cables, we have one Ethernet cable and one power supply cable. This cable is a pigtail that will be used to be linked to a battery or uh, laboratory uh, power supply. You can also have a 220 volt power supply. On each connector on the top, you have a dot that gives you the top of the connector. Now I can link the connector, the Ethernet connector, to the tablet. And once it is ready, I can connect the battery. This is a battery pack, which is very handy when you are on the field. You will see that in after. and I turn on. Now I must talk to you about two specificities of the algorithm. The first one is the importance of the initial position. The position is used to compute the sextance orientation. So it must be entered into the system with a precision within 0 0.1 degree. It's about 10 kilometers. The second point is the importance of following the alignment procedure. The procedure has two parts. The first part takes five minutes. During five minutes, this, the sustance remains static. It means there is no heading change. It will be used for getting the true north orientation. Where after these five minutes starts the second part of the alignment phase. It takes 5 to 15 minutes. It will be used to reach the optimal performances of the system. You can either leave it as it is. It will take some time to reach the best performances. But if you want to go quicker, you just have to turn it by 180 degrees. But I remind you, it's after the five minutes of static alignment. Now I'm going to talk to you about the tablet and the web interface. On the main page, I'm going I will show you different parts. First of them is a color. You see that some of the parts are orange. It means with a status line, it, you see that um, it is an uh, alignment phase and you have the remaining alignment time. This time is five minutes. On the top you have the heading of the sustance. It's what will be used for the orientation. The role just underneath is also quite important. I will tell you why it is important. The pitch and the position are there just for information. Also, I would like to, to show you some of the menus that I find quite interesting. 
One of them is the events viewer where you can see the different messages from the internal um, sensors of uh, the systems. When it's blue, it works. And if you have a red color, it means that uh, you have uh, an error. The second important menu is about the position. It is always possible to enter a manual position. For example, if you work in a gallery underground or if you have a problem with your GPS, you can enter a manual position. This position can be just uh, entered with two digits of the degrees, after the degrees. Now I'm going back to the main page. I click on the logo. And I have to wait for the alignment to be completed. Back on the main page of the interface, where we can see that uh, we only have three to one second remaining before the end of the static alignment. It is done. Everything is blue. So we can start the second part of the alignment, which is a rotation on 180 degrees. I remind you that it will allow us to reach quicker the maximum performances. So I perform a rotation of the gyro compass. You can see the heading moving and decreasing. And now we just have to wait for the final alignment to be completed. Thanks to this alignment, we reach the best performance level of the systems. And the first, uh, the first part of the work is, is done. We know precisely its orientation accordingly to the north or direction. I just want to remind you that if there is a power cut, even if it's a short one, the sextants will be reboot. So the alignment phase will have to be done again. Now let's transfer the orientation to the seismometer. <laughs> 